Hello, boys and girls. This is Aunt Fernita, and I have a wonderful story for you, called Helping Hands. Today's memory verse is from Proverbs chapter fourteen, verse twenty-one. It says, "Being kind to the needy brings happiness." The message for today's story is being kind to others makes us happy too. Have you ever done something really nice for someone? How did you make them feel? How did you feel? Dorcas did many kind deeds for others, and God cared for her in an amazing way. Hi, everyone. My name is Tabitha. That's my Aramaic name, but some people call me Dorcas. That's my Greek name. You can call me either one. Since I learned about Jesus and became a Christian, I really want to help people like he did. When someone is sick, I go to see them. I usually take some food and maybe a warm blanket too. And if their house needs cleaning, I will clean it for them. I always pray with them and sometimes sing them a happy song about Jesus. Poor people need my help too, the widows especially. I love sewing new clothes for them. I love children too, the ones who are sick or don't have parents to take care of them. Those are the ones I especially spend time with. I give them a hug and listen to them talk about their troubles. Sometimes I teach them a song or tell them a story about Jesus. Now I know why Jesus was so busy helping people. You will always find someone who needs help. I like bringing happiness to others, and by doing this, I get a lot of happiness too. Some time ago. I became very, very sick. My friends tell me that I was so sick that I died. Our friend Peter just happened to be in a nearby town. One of my friends asked him to come, and he came very quickly. My friends were crying, and they told him how I had helped them. It was very nice, but if I had been listening, I probably would have been really embarrassed. My friends tell me that Peter prayed for me. I don't remember that part. I just remember seeing Peter standing beside me. I was so surprised to see him that I sat up. He took me by the hand and led me into the next room, where many people were crying. When everyone saw me, they were so surprised. Then they shouted for joy. I really didn't realize what had happened, but God had used Peter to perform a miracle that brought me back to life. Word about this wonderful miracle spread quickly, and many people believed in Jesus because of it. I am so happy that God used Peter to bring me back to life. I still have a lot of work to do. I want to continue to bring joy and happiness to others. I'm so thankful that God has given me more time to serve Him. This podcast was brought to you by. Gracelink.net and Studio El Piso. For more children's resources, please visit gracelink.net.